Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Bojack again. Part two of what I was talking about about why the world won't end on uh, September 23rd of this year. Now, like I was saying, you know, people have been predicting this crap for years. These are people that have probably a pretty low uh, expectations of humanity, or uh, what was it called? Um, don't have any faith in humanity. I do. But I also got to look on the other side of the coin, you know. If something does happen, I'll eat my words, literally. But I don't think nothing's going to happen on that day. It's just an astronomical uh, phenomenon of our moon turning red due to an eclipse. People have been scared of stuff like this since forever. There's a picture of Halley's Comet dating back to, I don't know, either year 1000, in the 11th century or the 12th century. And people were scared of seeing a comet, ladies and gentlemen. Halley's Comet comes back every 76 years. People have always said that, you know, the world's going to end when this comet comes back. People killed themselves when Hale Bob in 97 came around. Literally, a whole cult of people. They put poison in Kool-Aid and drank it, and they thought that aliens were riding the comet to come get them. I don't know if it's any of it's true, but I doubt it. But you can't deny all the uh, things we've been seeing lately in the past... Whoa, well, was it 47? It's almost 60 years, exact, 70 years since Roswell. Hell, I've seen my fair share of UFOs. We fear as a species of what we do not understand. All these Christians who say, you know... And there's nothing wrong being a Christian. But to put it out there that the world's going to end... Because the Mayans say they, it does. You know, the Mayans had a great scientific society. They, uh, they had a great knowledge of the heavens, but I don't think they knew everything. A lot of their uh, documentation was destroyed by none other than Christians, and they were forced to... And the Christianity, my, my, the man I call my father is half mine. So, not to see him freak out, you know. Of course, when they see this, they'll probably think, what the hell am I talking about? Because... You know, they work a lot. They don't watch the news a whole lot. But, uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, chill out. If it does end, so what? But I doubt it. It's just part of life. We're going to concentrate on things that really matter, like, oh no, uniting as a species. Which I think can be done. And do the one thing that all humans have gazed at, since we've gazed out upon the stars was what's out there to travel in the final frontier which is space that is our destiny and that is our greatest journey ladies and gentlemen finding what's out there if we find nothing then we should tre treasure life more since our Life is unique on Earth. But if we find life, we should do no different as in treasure life in itself because life is abundant. Look at our planet, for crying out loud. There's thousands of species. But to say that it's all going to come to end because of some biblock, biblical prophecy or some bullshit like that, it says in Revelations, you will not know when Jesus comes back, if he comes back at all. You know, the last 10 years, I've speculated on what I believe anymore. But I got five seconds left. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna tune in for a third one.